Well, let me explain this to you before the technical difficulty shit that just added to my pile of flusteration. Is it fluster? It's now flusteration. Well, I like that word better. I was frolicky today, like frolicky. I got up early. I went on the Peloton bike, which let me tell you is fantastic and horrible all at the same time because the bike seat is not made for my ass. Yes. <laughs> um, and feels like a bad Wednesday afternoon in a prison cell when you're Holy done on it. Um, yeah, that, well, you had bum problems too earlier. Whoa, 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 different, that was private. Dark, but, that was a private text. Oh. Between you and me. Awkward. Um, you sent it to the group. All I said, you said listen, it to the all group. I said in the group was that when you wake up and your farts smell like gunpowder, you know you had a good night. But that wasn't supposed to be said on here. Oh, well, you said it. I just said that you had bum problems. Anyways, um, so I went and I flew the air. I, I worked out on the Peloton. I did the meditation that you gave me, the Deepak Chopra, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. So Hum, mm -hmm. which I will do every yeah, day because it is mind changing. Yeah. And now things are happening. Like every when I did it this time, I started to see like rings and stuff. And maybe it's just placebo effect, but it was really, really, really cool. Oh, nice. And then I went and flew the airplane first time in three months. Had a wicked Wayne flies wicked airplanes. Flight. I, mm -hmm. which is insane. Mm -hmm. I fly airplanes, and uh, I had real. I just did a bunch of touch and go landings, just trying to get the feel for the plane mm -hmm. again. Really good day. The weather was great. And then I started driving home, and I started thinking about a bunch so. of stuff, and my mind took off. And now I have concerns, and I want to talk to you. Okay. About well, today. look, uh, you know. Um, I charge by the hour. Okay, well, what is what is your what would your rate be? My rate would probably be about eight bucks an hour, because I don't have any diploma. I have or like a gift card to fucking Applebee's. Oh, I haven't been to Applebee's yeah, in forever. We have our kind of Applebee style place here is Montana's. Mm. Do you have a uh, do you have McDonald's there? Oh yeah, you guys have that. <laughs> Do we have. We talked oh, about that's that. Right, a that's couple, right. Yeah, 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 you, yeah. Yeah, we have everything you have. That, well, we don't. We, we don't do Dunkin' Donuts in Canada. We do Tim Hortons, which is garbage. But you sent me a picture of something called Canadian Tire, and you asked me, "Do you guys have that there?" And I'm like, "Why the fuck would we have Canadian Tire in America? It'd be American Tire." You want to know what the best part of Canadian Tire is? It's one of my favorite department stores in the whole entire planet of Earth, and I have never bought tires from Do them. they have other things besides tires? Because that does... Oh, yeah. It's kind of... They have sporting goods, hunting goods, um, home improvement, outdoor patio stuff. We should get paid for talking about Wait, at a tire them. place? They've got all... Yeah. Well, I think originally back in the day in like 1814 when they wow. opened... Um, and I could be off a couple years okay. with the opening uh, date, but I they used to have tires. Well, they do have tires, but I think they originally opened as a tire uh -huh. place, and then they're like, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> we could sell way more <laughs> shit. They sell auto parts and ATV parts, all kinds That's of shit. That's crazy. That's pretty That's great. crazy. So, mm -hmm. okay, so you, um, mm -hmm. so you went, you go there. It's your favorite shopping department in, in all of the lands, mm -hmm. right? And when you mm -hmm. do, they have hot dogs. No, however, okay. pre shit show or pre pandemic, yeah. um, fuck. Okay. So, um, <laughs> um, pre pandemic, they would sell street hot dogs. And just so people mm -hmm. that are on the YouTube know, the camera is here, and I'm supposed to look at it, and then you're here on a 45. So I'm going to do both because I don't like staring at the bright yeah. light. Yet I'm not there yet, so I'm going to do both. And if 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 this is making it difficult for the video watching folks, so this is what Wayne did. I'm in a basement. So this is what Wayne did. So Wayne's back in the basement, by the way. He's not allowed upstairs. But so, so Wayne went and yesterday was all cocky, cocky AF, cocky mm. AF about these getting a new camera. Mm. He's doing mm. this thing. He's got you know, his mm. mic. He's doing this whole setup with lighting down in his basement. And before we came on, 
Wayne spent, you know, and I'm watching this uh, on, on, on my laptop. He's just, his lighting's off. Half of his face is dark. His microphone sounds garbled. He's looking to the right to see well, me on his laptop. His face is dark because of my ethnicity. And, <laughs> and then he has to look back at the camera for me to see the face. So he's looking at me on his laptop over on the right. You know, I always say this. Look, I'm low budget guy. You know, I got my laptop. I'm in an art studio. Well, I have an art studio in the my back of my house. It's a separate, separate uh, structure from my house. It's out by the pool. There's an art studio. And I got my laptop. I got a snowball mic. I stole this fucking crane arm thing from my son that he uses when he games. And I got my Bose headphones plugged in. Him over there in Canada, right? He's over there, probably 20, 30, 40, 50 grand in supplies over there just to do this podcast. Easily. Easily. Yeah. So it's called dedication, but we don't need to get into that today. I just, I'm just i here for the people, uh -huh. and I want them to see me in the best light. I was, I, so what, I, I get carried away. I've got it all. I, I, I look like, I look like a Walmart photo studio, you know, but I don't know how to, I, I even bought this really expensive camera off a guy, um, about two and a half, three weeks yeah. ago. Cause I wanted to make videos like proper yeah, nice yeah, lighting yeah, yeah. and stuff because some of us don't have movie studios that we get to go do our oh, jobs at. That's too bad. And I bought this camera. I I used it once and I fucking forgot to hit record and I'm like never using it again. I want my money back. Like I don't even want this. Well, Wayne was saying actually before we got on that he never wanted to podcast again because of all the technical difficulty he was having. <laughs> I got a little listen, I got a little over um I got a little overwhelmed. <laughs> and I'm back now and I look good. You do. You look good. good. You sound good. And it only cost me fifty three thousand five hundred and twenty eight dollars. <laughs> so wait. So now here's the other thing that's great about all this that we're talking about is that um, we're both really handsome. And we're both oh, like ridiculous. Yeah, like, it's handsome. like I'm so sick of being yeah. in a not in a cocky way, though, like humbly. Yeah, like, ridiculous. We are so handsome. humble about to, how yeah. good looking we are that it's actually sometimes so we'll call it like the, Wayne and I have never met in person. We met on TikTok. I, we, we told you all this bullshit, but we've never mm -hmm. met in person. But when we open up this app to do this podcast for you, for your for you guys, um, we each look at each other for a good, solid, awkward minute without saying a word and just like. Power. I can't believe how good looking we are. So, yeah. But let's get into yeah. Your 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 good mm -hmm. looks actually calm my anxiety. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Mm hmm. It's we actually, you know what? Truth be told, you you do calm the shit out of my anxiety, which is weird, mm -hmm. um, but not at the same time. Um, <laughs> it, yeah. So, anyways. <laughs> Well, I wanted to talk about your neurosis, your neurosis, not neurosis, your um, your issues that you, you had. Your, your your mind started going. I told Wayne earlier that he has yeah. uh, he has the, the the best narcissistic insecurities I've ever I've ever seen, and I love it. You know what the best part of that is that um, I have over throughout my journey of whatever you want to call this um, shit show that I am doing. Um, there has been a few times where I'm like, am I a narcissist? And I not, I know I am not, but you, when you have these repeat patterns of like being the common denominator of relationships, <laughs> shitting the bed, you know, like if every, if, <laughs> I, <laughs> oh man, it is what it is, but I am not. So when you said that, I'm like, well, fuck, maybe I am. If Alex is calling me a narcissist. Oh, because I am. If, Oh, so you know? I'm no, so narcissistic <laughs> that if I call you one, you must be. Wow, this yeah. is our first argument. Somebody by on the way. one of my TikToks, I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> I ever. can't quit you. Ever. I can't quit you. I can't. I will never quit you. You are my Jerry Maguire. You are my, but way taller because you told me he was only five five. Oh, um, God, it's true. I I actually got I launched on. No, I didn't launch. I popped off a bit. We use the term up here, pop off. I'm going to pop off on you. Like, you know, you get a little elevated and you say some things, capital letters when you're when you're writing text messages. Oh. That's yelling, apparently. But I popped off on a lady because she called me an empath. And I'm like, mm, What's no, ma'am, I am definitely not an empath. So to me, an Empathetic? empath is somebody who, yeah, but like ridiculously. 
an empathetic. Like I have my own. I feel like a very small portion of the population is a true empath. I feel like empaths are people that can feel your pain without it hurting their self-esteem. You know what I mean? Like they can feel it without kicking their own ass in the process, which I am not. Hmm. Anyways, so I told her, I was like, listen, lady. Yeah, you got to scream at that. I that's that's horrible empath. for her to say that. You do not call me. You, I'm going to let you delete this and try it again. You call me a gaslighter and a narcissist. <laughs> Those are two terms. Have you heard that gaslighter? I'm doing a play. I'm doing a play called Gaslight House. Oh, yeah, we Lord. talked about that. And by the way, I was telling the writer the other day, no one uses this term, Gaslight House. Or ga I'm sorry, gaslight. Oh fuck! Every girl but I date uses this term. <laughs> uh, no, you know what it is. I I feel like I've either I I feel like I've either dated um, only therapists because they all have these diagnoses at the end of our short relationships, or I have some. Work well, here's to something do. interesting that you're saying that, and and you're probably right. But here's the thing. So my mom kind of dated uh, when she was dating after my parents got divorced. She would date people that, you know, guys that knew how to, like, fix up houses. Do you see what I'm saying? You date people that mm -hmm. can fix brains. There's a common, there's a through line. No? I'm shaking my head <laughs> no right now for the, for the audio portion of this. No. Okay. No, that is the most false and asinine thing I've ever. Wow! Heard you and say. I just told you earlier that um, you said one I of the nicest things to me ever, and now I'm false and asinine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, say what you're going to say. No, I'm just. No, it's an awkward silence <laughs> now. See what happened? I just wanted to tell you what went on in my mind while I was driving home, oh, yeah? and we had to turn oh, this yeah. into let's talk about. See, we, when we talk to you, yeah. we talk to you. You tell us about your. Your, you know, your pastimes and your yeah. hobbies and what you like yeah. to, you know, how you like to make. But when we talk to me, it's like, so what's your problem today, Wayne? What well, the fuck is wrong with you today, buddy? Well, you started this whole so, thing. So let's go. So let's talk about, I want to hear about your pastime. Oh, it sounds so great. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I gaslighted yeah, you. just you. fucking gaslighted me. And here's the other thing. Here's the other thing what you did. We spent a whole fucking episode talking about your, your prison family and your dad with red hair. So that was in the past. Well, when you get a family that spent their entire life in prison, then you can talk about I'm not too, too far off, man. I may have a story soon. <laughs> so so tell me about um, what happened in your head. So I was driving okay. home. I was driving home, and I started to think about things um, because there's a lot going on, on in the planet right now. And disclaimer, I know nothing about politics. I know nothing about religion. I know nothing about um politics or religion i know everything about everything else no um i don't i don't follow that stuff but every when i when something big in the world happens mm -hmm. i tend to jump on it for a little bit i know the u.s is going through some massive shit. shit um <sighs> massive shit i heard your post this morning Horrible. and i am i am floored that that is even something that is spoken about in 2021 yeah. And as I was driving and thinking about that, because I was driving and I watch your TikToks, because if I'm going to meet my maker, I want to do it while I'm staring into your oh, eyes. Will you say things boner like, boner alert, good morning, boner mm. alert. Um, and I was thinking about that stuff and I'm like, well, 2020 was a shit show of a year, oh, you yeah. know? And I was so, uh, and then I started thinking, I'm like, do we now change? Well, I thought of two things. I thought of two things. First thing I thought of is like, where did one through 18 go with this whole COVID thing? Why did we start at 19? And then I'm like, is it because it started in 2019? And I would really just like to know that answer. So anybody, that I think it's, that. I think that, I think that is what it is. I think that is what it is because it started in 2019. I so there wasn't like a COVID one and they were like, mm, fuck it. You know, I'm not I'm not an expert, but I, I I'm guessing when I say I think it's because of 2019. I know there are other covid uh, viruses out there. I know mm -hmm. there are. I've, I don't know what they are, but I've heard that there are. No, that's perfect. You shouldn't yeah. know what they are to speak about it because that's what half the no. population does. So carry on. Yeah, I have no I, I don't know. But if I'm guessing, I think it is covid-19 because it started in 2019 i could be way fucking wrong oh. there could be people listening to this laughing their asses going what a dick 
You know what I mean? Well, no, I, I just, I don't, I just don't know. Like, and why do we now not say hindsight is twenty twenty because it was a shit show? Do we say hindsight is twenty twenty six or whatever? Whenever we come well, out of twenty twenty one is the a hindsight? shit show too, man. Fuck yeah. I mean, it is, yeah. dude. Listen to me. I know you, you. You look. We don't talk about politics on here. Mm-hmm. I don't like talking about them. Um, but I will say this. I'm going to say this, and and I want this said on our show. What happened in Texas, okay, with women's rights and the right to choose about abortion, is so appalling and so disgusting. And now the other red states, such as Florida. Arkansas, you know, some there's a bunch in the United States, red states, Republican, you know, run states are going to follow suit, most likely. So you're going to have states in this country. Okay, now people, I want you to know something. I'm not talking about politics necessarily right now. I'm talking about humanity, basic human humanity, basic human rights. And here's the other fucked up thing about uh, Hmm. about this is why are there no laws or why are there no um, uh, consequences for the men involved in these pregnancies? So are you telling me in Texas, if a woman gets pregnant, whether it be, oh, by the way, you can be raped or had, you know, or your uncle got you pregnant and you still, it is illegal to abort after six weeks. Oh, yeah, that's that fucking psychotic. Law. That's fucking psychotic. So my question is, why is there no consequences for the men? Why is it all on the women? Why is it if, you know, this woman gets pregnant, however she gets pregnant, right? Now, if she decides to keep it, that's her right. That's her That's her decision. That's wonderful. But if she decides to have an abortion, even after six weeks, why do old white men sitting in leather chairs, you know, in our government get to say that you're not allowed to do that? It's like, like I said this morning, it's old white men making laws for women's bodies think about that with no consequences to the guys none so the guy who gets her pregnant nothing happens to him even if he runs off with some other lady while this poor woman sitting there pregnant with his child he runs off there's no consequence it's still up to her i swear to god man this country is ass backwards everything is fucked everything's fucked and that's all i'll say about you know, I, again it's well being canadian you know where we don't, as far as I'm concerned, have those issues, right? Like human rights where I live is a pretty big deal. You know, there are there are religious beliefs, but our, our country isn't divided by religion. You know, our country, well, I, I feel maybe every country is. I, I'm Like I said, I'm not a politics guy, but I, 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 I could not live in a place that decided that kind of stuff for another human no. being. I, no, I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck on the vaccine thing, man. Like I'm vaccinated. I've been vaccinated since I've had my second dose since February. And the reason I bring up vaccinations and in, in, in this subject is not to hold a candle to what you're talking about, but, mm-hmm. um, here it's a big deal right now that they are making vaccines mandatory and people are forced to get them. Now, listen, I, 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 I just kind of go with the, the mold. I, I, trust science and and Mm -hmm. and i'm you you know i'm i'm of sound mind where i can make those decisions myself if i want it or not but that should that stuff should be up to you anything that you do for yourself should be up to you and if you were assaulted sexually you have just had every bit of humanity ripped away from you you, I, I could not imagine, I could not imagine how somebody feels, you know, after something so atrocious and, and in my mind, um, rapists. And if you take offense to this, I'm going to say this, get the fuck off my podcast. Yeah, um, I you. feel like the they, I here. feel like they should, I feel like they should be, they should be put on death row, you know, and we don't have capital punishment where I am, but I just feel like if you are that psychotic that you are going to take that, you might as well kill a person because you've just taken every bit of, of human out of them. Yeah. The violation that you put on that person, the just vi- the violation, 
you know, it's, it's so disgusting and, oh. and horrible. And, you know, now here's the other thing I want to say, what they do, because I agree with you 100% and I am vaccinated. Um, because I just think that's the right way to do it. We've get we, well, we've I been think getting if you vaccines wanted, our whole lives, Wayne. Alex, Wayne, if you want it to go players, away, yeah, you have to give a look before we start school here in America. When you're a kid, you have to get vaccinated. You have to get vaccinated for everything. Yeah. When I went to Bosnia, I went to Bosnia for six months. I was 20 years old. I went on a peacekeeping mission there. Um, yeah. I have I have the book still. I carry it around with me now because of this that's going on. I got 14 vaccinations in a 48 hour period. This is what I'm saying. So what the fuck is the problem? We've been getting vaccinated our whole fucking lives. So I don't care if you get it. I don't care if you don't. However, don't don't do something because you just want to feel different. Don't do something because you want to be a nonconformist or because you're jumping on a bandwagon. Do it for you. Yeah, but you have these conspiracy theorists out there, which are just, it's just insane saying there's microchips in the virus or they're they're trying to, they're trying to kill us all. I hope there are. And I I know, man, I would love a microchip in me right now because you know what? I'm not, maybe if someone can program that chip to do better in life, I'd be like, oh my God, this chip is making me better in life. I want to be like the dude in Limitless. And if that's through a chip, then bring it on. I want to be fucking Hey, man, I'm everything. fucking all in. But here's, I, I just want to say this real quick, Sorry. too. Mm-hmm. What they did, no, man, what they did in Texas is under the guise of religion. It all is. It always is. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting. Look, I'll say it again. And again, if you don't like what I'm about to say, then don't fucking listen to my podcast. But I don't care what you believe in. I don't care. Don't put it on me. I don't believe in in organized religion. Well, I believe in it because it's there and people do it. But I don't believe what they believe. I believe in something else. I just believe in energy. I don't believe in any of this. God will strike. You're going to hell. And, you know, and there was a Virgin Mary who just miraculously became pregnant and she had a fucking kid. I don't believe any of that shit. I just don't. But I do believe in love and I do believe in positive and negative. What I'm saying is I'm not going to thrust my view onto you. So don't thrust yours onto me. Also, don't take away women's rights because somebody wrote a book about some dude named Jesus, and some God and some fucking Satan and all this shit. Don't do that. It's fucking horrible. And I'm pissed off, dude. I'm pissed. So I, I had this conversation yesterday and I'm going to try and reiterate it the best way I can. <clears throat> um, religion and me that's mm. the name of my book religion and me by wayne <laughs> hannah uh, i grew up in a baptist household however oh. the baptist the baptist household that i grew up in was very liberal we just believed in loving everybody they just everybody loves everybody and there was no issues and back then um, you went to church on Sunday and I remember I was 11 or 10 or 11 and my parents said, Hey, do you still want to go to church? Or I was 13, I think. And they said, do you still want to go to church? I'm like, Nope. And that was the end of it. Never talked about it again. Haven't really been, I maybe for a wedding or a funeral I've been, but I've, I've, I've decided that I wasn't going to go to church anymore. Uh, as I got older and as I went overseas and I stood over mass graves of 5,000 people because of what they believed in, that's why they were killed or because, mm. you, you know, mm. like you see, you, you, you know, people have to be afraid to come out and say that they love somebody that's the same sex as them because, because this, you know, because it's wrong in the eyes of, of whoever mm. I looked at religion and, and organized religion. And I thought, Okay, maybe people are taking advantage of what was once uh, a good thing. I don't know. I wasn't alive back then. However, I don't care if you believe um, in the flying spaghetti monster. If it makes you smile, then you need to, then, then you believe in it. I don't care if you believe in Jesus. I'm not saying I do or I don't. Um, I, see in between i read in between the lines when it comes to that stuff and that's what i'm going to get into real quick but Mm -hmm. i don't care what you believe in as long as what you believe in doesn't hurt other people and as long as you don't force it it on yeah and as long as you don't force it on other people and and as long as you don't judge other people so i'm going to say two things and then i will shut my fucking mouth (laughs) (laughs) i asked a question yesterday 
Um, I asked, what is the devil? What is God? What is, what is, um, what is sin? What is, uh, what are all of those things? Okay. Somebody at some point in time said they painted a picture and said, there is a devil and he's got red horns or red cape. He lives in a fiery pit under the earth. And if you're bad, you go there and you have to burn, you burn there forever. Nobody, nobody has actually been there. Nobody knows. Nobody knows if it's real. Yeah. No, like there's no, well, that was warm. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> and there's no dude with, uh, and you know, to me, all of those things, is there a devil? Yes. Is there a God? Yes. Is there this? Yes. All those things, they're just energy. That's all it is. It's your yeah. interpretation of what your negative energy probably looks like. It's got red horns and, and a red fiery cape. Positive energy probably looks all bright and shiny with some white wings in behind it. I don't know. I haven't been there. But to me, um, somebody wrote a book and they didn't expect it to go as viral as it did. And then it didn't, <laughs> it, they didn't expect it to, to be misconstrued yeah. so many different ways. The moral of my story is this. I love humans. I think we are wonderful people um, and we are made up of energy. Like you said in the last one, and I'm a firm believer of it now, like I, I'm a firm believer of it is that when, when we go away, maybe, maybe it's just we go back into the universe's energy, you know, but yeah. to, but to, 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 how do you say this? To murder millions of people because they don't believe the same thing you do is God awful disgusting. It's and to atrocious. decide what another human being can do, like who the fuck do you think you are to decide yeah. what another human being can do? Mm -hmm. The I it, it blows my mind. I got an email the other day, and then I'm going to, to well, we can move on from this. I got an email the other day from a trans woman who was thanking me for putting out some of the things that I have said because they have found solace in my words, and mm -hmm. they had said she had said that you know she has been essentially afraid her entire life to come out and and be her authentic self which was you know you know when when she identified as a man um she couldn't tell her family she was or he was gay because they were super religious and yeah. when she came out as trans she couldn't tell her family because they were super religious and she was so fearful of judgment and being put out on her ass listen to me when i say this it does not fucking matter if you no, want to it does not fucking matter love is love and this is coming from somebody who has actually never been in love in a romantic relationship um it, it it should not be talk. It should not. You should not be judged because you have decided to love a certain way. It sh you should not be judged because you've decided to live a certain way. Be your authentic self. If you want to, if you want to 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 be authentic, then just fucking do it. I I. I, I it's such a touchy subject. Well, it is a touchy subject, and, 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 it, and, it, and it raises my – it just raises my chemicals in my yeah, body to yeah. almost like a like fury. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, like, like you just said, do what you want to do. And if anyone tells you any different, tell them to go fuck themselves. But the problem is when the government is doing it, when the government is telling you you can't do this, then you can't just say go fuck yourself – you are literally being almost in, enslaved in this in this um, thought process that now this is the way of the land and I have to do this and I can't you know and I just I just am so I'm so over what America has become and is becoming over the last I don't even know when it started man now I don't even know when it started. It could have been 20 years ago for all I know, but I know what it led up to. It led up to the last six fucking years that has been not very cool out here. No, I know. Oh, fuck, man. I am trying to get to this clear place. And, and you, you have to know how grateful I am that you sent me that stuff. Uh, it, it, oh, the meditation stuff. Yeah. Oh my God. And I, yeah, I, I really feel like in order for me to get 
to a place where I am not feeling anxious about the new things going on in my life. I think right now is the time where I have to focus on getting healthy and working out and meditating and meditating and meditating because it, yeah, like it, it's really good. Listen, so, um, how do I say this to you? Breathe it out. Say it to me. Thank you. Thank you, pal. Thank you, you got man. props last night. I went out for for dinner with, um, well, we went out for dinner last night. With, I went out for dinner last night with Shandell, and we were driving home, and I was telling her, I'm like, oh, yeah. I, just, I talk about you a lot. It's weird. I do the same know? thing out but, here, uh, man. I talk about you too, dude. She gave you some serious props, man. Oh, tell me all about them. Well, she goes, you know, I watch his TikToks and I just didn't, I don't get his, I didn't get his humor. And then you say you're going to do a podcast with this guy. Like, she's like, I get it. He's funny. But I'm like, there's so much more to this guy. And then she goes, I listened to your podcast. And she's like, holy fuck is he woke? (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) Like, wow. He is. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, you, 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 yeah. I said, I said, you're woke. Yeah. You're, you're a woke human being, but, um. I, but isn't it I just common w- sense? Like, thank you, Shandell. Like, I actually do. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I just, I just feel like it's all common sense, man. We, you know, this isn't some. We're not. You know, we're not winning any prizes. It's just like, it's just like, hey, hey, fuckers, use your fucking brain. It's just common fucking sense. The hardest thing in this on this planet is common fucking sense. That's the thing. We're not driven by common sense. We're driven by greed. Like, let's discombobulate everything. Yeah, greed, status. Yeah. Listen, I, for example, you want to talk status for a second. Like, I don't, yeah, sure. You know, I've got 175,000 followers on um, TikTok. You um, Sure. Sure, that's a hundred and sixty <laughs> more than you. Um, and whoa, still, hold on like, a second, hold on, hold on. It's a little more than that. And I'm going to oh, give I you props I'm not here. Gonna, man. Well, because I, I have eleven thousand followers. You know, mm-hmm. it's just math. It's mm-hmm. just scientific. And I math. treat yep. you, but I treat you the same. I treat I'll you the same as you. I treat. I will fucking like, kill you. I Gandhi. will come over there and gut you, dude. You won't. <laughs> no, you won't. Ah. You, you get here. You get here. I'd have a sign, Alex, at the airport. Alex, this is Alex, everybody, and and then you just come give me a big hug and throw me into your backpack. I feel like everybody that's going to call over me would just put me in a backpack and be like, "That's my friend Wayne." So here's something interesting that we're talking about: you fitting into my backpack because you probably could because you're only five four four. No, you're five. Seven. So here's something interesting. No, I'm so five eleven. You. So here's the thing. Five so four. I did. I did this fucking BMI thing, body mass index thing on my this app, and uh, today, and I, it said, "Well, how how tall are you?" I said six five. Well, how how much do you weigh? Two nineteen. I'm thinking that's gonna be good as fuck, right? I get the note back. I get this little thing back that says you're overweight. That was like, wait, what do you mean I'm overweight? It says that I should weigh between 156 pounds and 210. Now, anywhere in there, I'd be dead. I'd be, I'd be a corpse. Like, if I weighed 210 or under, I'd be like, fuck it. People would look at me and be like, uh, you, sir, need to be on IV in the hospital. Like, what the fuck is that? This couldn't go any worse for me. This could not go any worse for me right now. This Why? couldn't be, <laughs> this couldn't have, this couldn't have gone together. Where, this is like a fucking soup sandwich. That's how Wait, bad this is. What? Why? Because I'm 5'10". I'm 5'10 yeah. and a half, and I weigh okay. 219 pounds. Can you reply? Can you reply to this app and say, mm, let me show you something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Wait, I weigh what you I, weigh, and I'm Wait. half a foot shorter. I don't. I don't even know how to say it, Wayne. Um, Wayne, look, I love you, but we- <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Oh my god! But you, but you have a Blackstone, and you like you like, you know. I mean, you have you you like you know uh, 
well, crepes because you're French. And because you like I all have that cooking stuff. appliances. Yeah, you like that stuff. You like, you know, eclairs and 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 Oreos and McDonald's and Burger King, and you eat it constantly. What's and your that's favorite? What's, gonna... don't, what's your? I fuck. I almost got a burger from Burger King today. I drove this by. Is... I was leaving the airport. Oh, I'm like, I love it. I think Wayne needs a double Whopper with cheese, and then I'm like, oh, no, he fucking so doesn't. Good. Oh, but that sounds so good. Though, I know because you drive double, by double Burger double King. Double, 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 but you know they they because when you drive by Burger King, the fucking smell from the the exhaust oh. fans seep in through your air conditioning. They do that on like, purpose. Oh. Yeah, they do fucking that on rights purpose. They do. Oh man! Oh, Coke. God, fucking listen. So do. here's something hilarious. Yesterday, I'm eating all healthy, you know, because I the day before I had my fucking cheat day, where I just like like fucking destroy my intestinal tract. So yesterday I'm eating healthy, everything's going great. I get a little stressed out, and uh, and I'm like, "Hey, hun, do you want to do uh, Mexican?" And she goes, "Yeah, how about nachos?" I'm like, "Yeah, how about nachos?" But not only did I order nachos, you know what I did on the sly? I ordered what? a large chicken burrito. So not only am I shoving you and nachos, your burritos. I love burrito. Well, I'm in I'm in L.A., man. I mean, L.A. Mexican food out here is just superb. So I'm 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 right I'm right fisting nachos into my gullet, my throat luge, if you will. I got my left hand wrapped around this fucking like probably pound and a half burrito. I'm shoving this thing in my mouth. I got my fucking chest. I'm a fucking whore. I'm a whore. You're stoking. You're stoking the burrito furnace. That's what you're doing. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's what my buddy Maybe we can says. get like he a goes, burrito place to sponsor us. Oh, maybe. My buddy looking oh, old, that would be so good. Not for you. Um, no. Definitely not for me. But um, my buddy says that he's like, oh, people are stoking their burger furnaces. <laughs> oh, man. He's, he's yeah. on to something there. Uh, I like food. Do you like, I like food. Do you like I'm how... Per- do, uh, do you like how I always Mimi. start our podcast with a hat on and then and then i and then the last and the other half i don't have a hat on oh shit here he is there's the guy you really just flipped your bangs around that's there you go i tried to do a i want i every once in a while i'll do a middle part what don't do that don't do that oh yeah you do it no you don't do it on purpose you do it to make a statement no don't do that you're, when you just took your hat off, I got like a little trouser patty. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like you pooped yourself? <laughs> no. No, no, no. Different it, trouser patty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to hear a Viagra story? Speaking of I trouser do, Oh, patty? man, I was going to ask you about that. Well, what were you going to ask me? Hey, Wayne, tell us what happened with your Viagra story. Oh, funny that you mention it. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, let me paint the picture. I'm 24 oh, years old. Oh, shit. This is already Don't going bad. Yeah. Oh, so bad. 24 <sighs> years old. I'm at the bar with my buddy. And I'm at a country bar in the prairies in Canada. And bang, we're bang, listening bang, bang, bang. to some Tim McGraw. Tim yeah. McGraw, Don't Take the Girl. Johnny's daddy was taking him fishing when he was eight years old. You know, oh, that's that, loud. That that's really loud, Wayne. Was it loud? Johnny's daddy was taking him fish. Ah, oh, fuck, I can't even have my head. That's really loud, Wayne. Oh, I see what you're doing here. <laughs> um, so, anyway, so we're at the bar. We're at the end of the night. He comes up to me. I'm, I'm sitting at the bar, much like I am now. I'm half in the bag. I'm fully in the bag at that point. I'm 23 years old, so I'm just a mess. I remember yeah. I was smoking a cigarette because back then you could smoke in the bars. Yeah. And he looks at me, he's like, hey, see those two girls over there? I'm like, yeah. He's like, 90% chance they're coming home with us. And to me, at that stage, 90%, I mean, you might as well have said they're coming home with yeah, us. That's it, 100% no, right there. No, that 10% window is a big window. Um, and he's like, and I got these. And he slides me over a Viagra. Oh, and shit. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we're going to fuck. Down. <laughs> Scooby's the mayor. So I take this, pop this Viagra, throw back a shot of like Jose Cuervo gold because that's all fuck. I could afford. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
<sighs> so bad. And oh, uh, fuck. we go on our merry way. Long story short, they don't come home with us. Longer story short, I took, still took a Viagra and I was alone. I remember sitting in front of the TV the next morning watching the LPGA. Oh, my God. Looking around going, no better time than the present. Because it was oh, a porn wasn't as accessible God. as, oh, it was brutal. The moral of my story. Oh, my God. Oh is my don't God. take Viagra when you don't need it. Were you, wait, did, were you, were you like fucking like out of tension all night? Dude, I, for like 18 hours. Like what the fuck? That's, it, that's a, it says if your boner lasts longer than four hours, call a doctor. Right. So at a time, at a time, I would, I would have to, I, I would have to, I was 24 years old. Like you're just going to get rid of. Oh, so boner. you could just pound and away I, over and over. I, I call it, um, I, I call it a release, you know, I, oh, I say, release. I say pound away. I say I'm arriving. I say, I say, I'm let's get violent. <laughs> you just beat the shit out of it. I mean, if it, look, if it keep, keeps coming back and it's not listening, if I if, look, and if I beat it once and really make it seem like, oh, like embarrass it, so if I embarrass it, it yeah. if I embarrass it and it has the balls to come back 20 minutes later, it's getting hurt. Yeah. Right. What are we talking about? Right. Anyway, Stay I down. what we were talking about. Pal. You don't want more of this. You don't want more of this. Stay down. Like the fight is over. <laughs> Stay down, pal. You don't want any more of this? You ain't Rocky Balboa. The cat, you ain't Rocky right? Balboa. <laughs> hey, hey, you know you want to go one more round. Yeah. Like, I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were going to do did that. Did I tell you about my... Did, did I... <laughs> Did I did I did I talk to you about my virtual reality? Yeah, I think I did. The the boxing game that I have where you're Rocky oh, Balboa yeah. and you can look down with the virtual yeah. and you like have abs and shit. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, it's called that. Creed. I I fuck it. I I can box in that game, not in real life. I'm not a fighter. I've actually never been a fighter. I was Here's something for you. Mm -hmm. I was a bouncer. I was a bouncer. Do you want so to know when my first shift as a bouncer was? Of course what? you were. You're 6'5". Wow. <laughs> Oh, way to pigeonhole me. Well, I mean, I don't mean to ju um, stereotype, but well, stereo. you pigeonholed me, and you and you know better. But you, I was right. That is true. So I just stated the obvious. That's fucking true, man. Fuck, you know what? Don't be so fucking right. Mm. So listen. So you were a bouncer. What did you do? Um, so my very first shift, and this is a nine eleven story. Oh, shit. Um, so my buddy and I, Richard, and for, because I want to keep his animated, animated, oh. don't even bother. Did, no, did you used to call him Dick? No, but he was a fucking Dick. I'm not, I, we're, we're not friends anymore. Okay. Right. We'll say his name, his name rhymes with Richard Hodgson. Dick Bobson. <laughs> Dick. Dick. Oh, we got to play this game. Remind me, say, Wayne, we need to play this game when I'm done. Okay. You'll love this game. I'm going to tell you this. It's a great game. Anyways, um, I was in the army and 9-11 happened. And it was also the first night of our shift. But they still, the army still let us go to work that night. But in case we had to go somewhere rapidly because yeah. we weren't sure what was going on on the planet, um, we would get back. But I went, I worked at this bar called OCC's, the original Californian club. And, um, okay. where was this? It was not a good, it was in Brandon, Manitoba, Canada. And, um, it was a horrible place, but it was called the California horrible club. Place. Yeah. The original OCCs, the original California club. Well, um, why would it be called? Why would it call the California club? Why would they call it that? If it's in Canada. Why did I go to a strip bar in Manzanillo, Mexico called Miami Beach? Well, I don't know, Wayne. Uh, now that's something everyone knows. <laughs> well, I went there to hand out <laughs> cards to let people know that there's better decisions that they can make. That's exactly why I would I don't know where I was going. Oh, know. so you, you know were, what? Your Who first cares that I was a bouncer? Well, I do because I was a fucking bouncer. Yeah. 
I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like being a bouncer. No, I didn't like it either, but I pretended I did. I still know a guy that's 40-something years old and still is a bouncer. Why? Like, that's been his, that's his career. He's a career bouncer. So he must be good at it. Man. Have you got, how many fist fights have you gotten into in your life? Huh? You just gave zero. me an egg. Really? I got a big fat zero. However, I did get the shit kicked out of me by a kid named Simon in grade nine that I cold cocked in the head because I was trying to impress my buddy. And this kid, Simon, was only allowed to wear sweatpants because his parents said he was allergic to denim and he had a dog named Frobisher Fudd. I shit you not. And I cold cocked this kid and then he turned around and he whooped my ass. I ran home. I get into my backyard. My sister's boyfriend at the time um, pulls him off of me and he looks at him and he goes he was bugging me so I responded. What the fuck? Dude wait so you have been in a fist. That's a fist fight. No. No, I hit a kid and he creamed me and I learned my lesson. No, I'm not a, listen, I'm not a, I, I, I'm not a, vi- I'm not into the violence stuff, man. No, like, I'm not either, man. I'm not either. But there, but I have gotten, I've had, I've defended myself and gotten into a fight. Yeah. But I'm not into it. Like, I don't want to fucking get into a oh, fight. Oh, for sure. But, you know. No, and I feel like people, w- it's funny, I feel like people would pick out the bigger guy in the crowd mm-hmm. to scrap with too so they Always. could prove the point, you know? So Always. yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I just don't understand it. Like I, I do not understand why you need to punch. I don't understand the UFC. I don't. And there are people that watch our podcast that love the UFC. Yeah, and MMA I, and all stuff. If you I, love I it, that's cool it too. Either. Yeah. I mean, I'll check out, like if two people are fighting, I'll watch it. I'll, I'll, I won't, I'm not. You know, I don't sign up to watch it. If it comes across my fucking news feed, I'll be like, oh, okay. That's sure. Yeah, but yeah, I'll check it out for a bit. I don't search it. Yeah. No, and at the end of the day, it's just two dudes in booty shorts kicking the crap out of each other. Like, what? what like, I. Y- y- <laughs> <Yeah>. But, and <laughs> it's not even. <laughs> I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't want to get into something. Like, if somebody was like, hey, man, do you want to sign up for this? What is it? It's called Mixed Martial Arts. Cool. What do I do? Well, you stand in a chained octagon <laughs> ring, and and you wear these super tight shorts, and then these gloves that only cover, like, with the padding over the knuckles. <laughs> and the object, the object, Wayne, is you want to get him on the ground and then pound him. And we call that the ground and pound. Nope. Wait. I got to tell you something right now. I have never been into that kind of violent, that kind of stuff. Even boxing, I was never into boxing. Uh, I had friends that were. Mm-hmm. But I will say this. MMA is so, f- and, uh, you know, UFC, that, that stuff is so far away from boxing. Because boxing, there's like big padded gloves. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to get your head knocked off. Because so there's some boxers out there that will literally knock your fucking head off. With a glove on. Boom, gone. Yep. But MMA takes it to a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not wearing padded gloves. They're not just using their fists. They're using everything. It's crazy. Alex, I once woke up in the morning and Uh was walking to the bathroom for my morning pee, and I sneezed. And when I sneezed, you know when you sneeze, your head goes back? Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. And then when I went forward, I wasn't in the doorway. I was beside the doorway and I creamed my melon right off the door frame and I knocked myself out almost. Like I, just, I saw stars. <laughs> and I, I didn't like that feeling and I couldn't fight back because it was a doorway. The moral of this story is why do you want to get your head hit? Why do you want to? Why? Why do you want to get? Uh, yeah, no. I'm, I'm not into that stuff, man. I'm not. I mean, like, I'm just not. I mean, I say I'm not into it, meaning I'm not searching for it, and I don't like violence in my life. But I will say that if someone is starting shit with me, or especially someone I love, or putting their hands on me, then I will. 
defend my, now I may get my ass beat. I may get my fucking ass beat, but I'm going to defend myself. You know what I mean? I'm going to defend myself. hundred percent. But I learned down. that back in fucking high school. It's like, you have to defend yourself. Do you know how to movie? F- well, of course you do. You well, it's all, just, it's all fight? stage combat. I mean, I just did a, a gig where I had, we had to do some stuff, but, um, but I'll tell, I'll tell you this. Like, I remember I used to watch, um, you know, I watch a lot. I used to watch a lot of like those uh, uh, karate movies, you know, back in like the oh, 70s yeah, and 80s, like the Kung Fu. And I would I would totally, you know, try to do that kind of stuff. And like, you know, usually like tear one of my testicles or like pull a hammy and be like, I can't fucking walk. How do they do it? Why do I suck? You know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> I watch a lot of yeah, horror yeah. movies, man. I watch a lot of horror movies. That's all I watch during the pandemic. I want to say this because this, tr- this is truth. And some people may find it interesting. So during the pandemic, when we were on lockdown, I decided every day at around one or two o'clock, I would go into the guest bedroom in our house and I would watch a horror movie. I wouldn't read what it was about. I would just pick a title and press play. I've been doing that pretty much for almost a year and a half. How many horror movies have I watched? A lot. That'd be like 400 and some. And I will tell you this. I'll tell you this right now. There is a lot of bad horror movies out there. Like really I don't watch them. Horrible acting, horror, you know, but you get but once in a while, man. Once in a while, you lay down on that fucking guest bed, you turn that big ass TV on and you start watching a movie you've never even heard of, right? And you press play yeah. on that. You press play on that. Fuck, dude. So good. Blown I- away. Take it into another time zone, another dimension, and you are scared, and you're sweating, and you're screaming, and you're alone, and it's phenomenal. I love horror movies. No, I can't even leave my basement when it's dark, like, without beelining it up the stairs. Like, I do not do any paranormal, <laughs> any, like, horror stuff. No, I, I am, like... Yeah, I'm so far. Do you remember the Unsolved Mysteries with? Um, oh yeah, Stack Robert Stack was. Oh, Robert I used Stack? to love those back in the day. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't even watch that. Couldn't even watch that. Why? No, yeah. I can't even watch. Like when I, I don't watch. I don't know because I'm scared. Probably because I don't. I don't know. But it's all it's I all make believe. Reason. It's all make believe. It's just I always think that if I get too scared, I always think. It's a fucking camera crew. These are actors. Why am I scared about this? It's ridiculous. And then I calm down. I watched a paranormal activity commercial once and was lying <laughs> in my once. bed at two o'clock in the morning and a branch was like crossing my window. Oh, it was just scraping I across. It. I went for a fucking drive. Nope. I went for a drive. That <laughs> shit. Mm-mm. 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 Well, I'll tell you what, man. It's funny. It's like. I'll tell you why I love horror movies so much is because my father insisted that I go see American Werewolf in London when it came out. I think I was like seven or eight. And I kept asking the way there, is it scary? He's like, no, not really. I'm like, okay. And I asked again, dad, is it scary? No, it's not scary. Okay. Ask again, get to the movies. We sit down. Within the first three, four, five minutes of that movie, little Alex Scooby sitting there watching it, like, oh, this isn't so bad. And then all of a sudden, a growl from the Moors, because they were in London. And I'm like, Well, Dad, there's two there's two backpackers walking all by themselves and there's a growl out there and they can't see where it's coming from. You said this wouldn't be that scary. And he's like, just watch the movie. And I'm like, okay. Next thing I know, dude, I'm screaming, crying. Running out of the movie theater. And I think ever since that day, I just love horror movies. Even though I didn't That's love that That's me at 41. One. That's me at 41. <laughs> My daughter loves scary stuff. And it freaks me out because I'm like, she's going to want... I would rather watch Frozen than watch scary movies with her. You better and never I say that Frozen. again on... You better never say that again I on hate Frozen. Podcast. Frozen is horrible. The fact that you just said that on our podcast. Horrible. I did something very, very uh, fucked up when my son was about four. You dressed like Elsa? Oh. I dressed like Elsa. <laughs> no, when my son was about four, I figured I'd try the same technique my father used on me. 
but I didn't take him to the movie theater because that was illegal because you had to be 17, you know, at that point. So what I did was I rented a movie and it was called uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, and God. I had my son sit on the couch with me and I knew I felt like it was kind of wrong. And I press play and it's going and going and then all of a sudden it starts getting gory. And I look over my son and he's just like, he's like, what? You know, he's like four. He's like, what? What? And I'm like, ah, it's just, it's not very scary, is it? It's just a horror movie. Like, it's just like, it's what your dad loves. And I feel like we're bonding. And my four-year-old son is just staring at me. Meanwhile, his mother comes home. Okay. His mother comes home about 40 minutes into the movie and freaked the fuck out. Yeah. But why? It's just a movie. Yeah, it's also just a kid's brain that's kind of trying to develop. And now he's watching, like, you've seen Dexter. You I ever watched watch Dexter? I've never watched it. Oh, well, let me tell you, he started at a young age, too. <laughs> huh? Did and he? then he just killed people for sport. Well, they yeah. usually start. I, I heard that serial killers usually start with animals. They start by, like, taking the pet cat, oh, like, yeah. dissecting it and shit. I what? heard that too. I don't. I just. <laughs>